What is up, you guys? This is Colton from Epics and Impulse. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the mortar bug. Uh, I know there's a lot of free-to-play players using mortar. Um, so to say, I don't really care because I really hate playing mortar uh, right now uh, because it's everywhere. It's everywhere in Death Valley, um, and it's really hard to climb. Um, right now, I'm at 46.26. Uh, it's relatively early in the season. Uh, when I hit this, I was 800th global. Um, but what I wanted to do is um, just show you a way how to make the mortar uh, not shoot. Uh, this works with spear goblins, but it also works with archers. And I have archers in my deck. I normally do split them at the back. Um, so I did this with a clan mate just to, just to show you, you know, how to do it. Basically, um, I told him I'd give him the thumbs up when I'm ready for him to put down mortar, basically. So if you put archers there on the outside corner, mortar doesn't shoot. So that's perfect. It works with spear golems. I think it also works with uh, witch, ice wizard, etc. Uh, ranged units, basically. But I have archers in my deck, so it works really good. Uh, just cycling, cycling cards here. Um, because I just wanted to do it again, make sure I did, just didn't get lucky. So he's a little more aggressive here at how he'd do it, but I do my archers and then I do my knight. So even just with one, uh, one of my archers alive there, the mortar isn't shooting. So that's a cool little trick. Uh, I think it works on the other side as well, but I've only really done it on that one side. I haven't actually successfully done it on ladder yet. Um, yeah. Pretty uh, pretty excited about that. I'm going to try to utilize it a little more often um, because I hate playing mortar. I think a lot of people hate playing mortar right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't know how much time I'll have, but maybe I'll just share a replay, a couple. I don't know how much time I'll have. Uh, I'm going to share this replay with you guys first. Um, I'll do it two times just because I have someone coming over. So I might have to cut this off a little short here. So I split my archers, happy to see he doesn't have mortar. I thought it could have been log bait, but it's definitely, definitely different. I uh, did my sparky, it would have been perfect, but he does have a rocket, so I kind of got screwed. Uh, so that was well played by him. So I'm just feeling him out, trying to get used to his deck, see what he has basically. Uh, princess is kind of annoying. Try to get through. I can't get through. Um, so I got the goblins and I got the archers to clean them up. And then I have the knight, but he's pretty smart. He puts down barbarians, which kind of screws me over. Uh, I do an awkward um, tornado there. So I'm definitely a, a little bit behind here. Uh, when he pumps... Uh, what does he do here? He rockets. So now I know I this is my one opportunity to actually use Sparky. Um, I know I'm going to want to use, um, or sorry, to pull pull that Prince to my side. So I'm able to get a good pit, uh, push here, and he actually misses the rocket. And just like that, it's a good game. So there you go. Uh, that got me 800th global at the time. Um... And maybe I'll show you this one too. Wait, level seven. Who am I playing? Oh, sorry. I was I was playing in a grand, I guess here. I don't know if you guys really want to see a grand, but I'll I'll fast forward a little bit. Just so you can see basically what I did. Um, it's a early on in the grand, so guys aren't aren't that great. But he's gonna go pretty hard after me, but I got my knight and I got my archers, so I'm able to stop him from completely taking the tower there. 
I'm able to shut that down pretty good, and then I tornado everything back so it doesn't get any shots off. Uh, I do want to share a couple other decks I'm planning on trying this season. It is really early. I'm doing pretty good with my normal deck, uh, but I'm definitely going to want to uh, try a few decks. So I'll sh show you all my slots right now. Uh, this is one I'm thinking of doing. Um, it's relatively free-to-play friendly, except for Sparky and Hog. Um, but you don't need a max Sparky. Um, and a lot of people have been leveling up Hog forever, so... Uh, the bats would be good for uh, zap as well as the spear goblins. So there's a lot of a lot of zap bait there in that deck. So I'm definitely this is the one I'm I'm gonna want to try next. Uh, this one I leveled up my rocket to ten uh, because this deck um, I think tag is pushing ladder on on the, with this deck, someone like that. Um, but it seems like pretty good deck it's it's kind of my style um i don't use log very often um i don't even know if i've ever used my log on ladder um but it, it should be okay uh it's kind of hog instead of goblin barrel basically um and if it's viable i'll give it a try um see if i can get used to it and see if i like it um this is actually the giant deck that i seem the most comfortable with with my style um, plus it has Princess, which is max, so it's nice to use my cards that are high level, uh, as well as my Tornado. So this is one I kind of just made, um, but I haven't fully tested it, so I sometimes play it, but not very often. And then this one here is a, a really popular, um, ladder deck. A lot of people pretty high up are using it. As you can see, my pump's pretty low level, but I definitely want to utilize this deck uh, once my pump is maybe level 10 I'll, I'll give it a try I've, I tried it out a few times but um, I was having a hard time getting used to it but maybe it just has a little bit of a learning curve I'm sure you need to get used to doing minions you know trying to bait out the arrows and then using uh, the horde you probably really need to know their rotation and memorize which is something I need to work on um, but that's a deck I'm wanting to try right now, and then uh, this is my regular deck that I use uh, that got me to 800th uh, global. So, hope you guys like the video, um, and like and subscribe, please. Alright, see ya.